Welcome students to today's lecture. We are still continuing with the engineering materials and today we talk about pig iron. Let's see how pig iron is extracted from the minerals back until it is refined to become a pig iron. So this is produced after it has been extracted from a mineral ore we look to the types of ores that an ion can be extracted from in our previous video so once that extraction is done then it is then placed in a furnace then through the reduction process um, the ore is then melted or remelted into what is called pig so a pig is an ion that is melted and it has dimension of 20 inch to 9 inch by 4 inch in size it is produced in a blast furnace and is the first product in the process of converting iron ore into useful ferrous metals the iron ore on initial refining and heating in the blast furnace become pig iron when the impurities are burnt out in a blast furnace Pig iron acts as the raw material for production of all kinds of cast ions and steel products. It is obtained by smelting or chemical reduction of the iron ore in the blast furnace. It is of great importance in the foundry and in steel making processes. It is partially refined in a cupola furnace that produces various grades of cast iron by paddling process wrought iron is produced from pig iron steel is produced from pig iron by various steel making processes such as besema open heart or oxygen or electric or spray steel making the charge in the blessed furnace for manufacturing pig iron include the following the iron ore which is the which consists of iron oxide or carbonate carbonate associated with up impurities the coke which act as the fuel limestone which is a flux which act as flux so in addition to iron pig iron contain various other constituents in varying form of impurity such carbon silicon, sulfur, manganese, and phosphorus. So these impurities varies in composition depending on the ratio, like the carbon varies in the ratio of 4 to 4.5 percent, silicon in the ratio of 0.4 to 2 percent, manganese 0.2 to 1.5 percent, phosphorus 0.1 to 2.2 to 2 percent, uh, sulfur we have 0.4 one percent and the remaining percentage which is the chunk big chunk of percentage is that of the iron so carbon exists in iron in free form which is called graphite and in combined form which is called cementite or the pearlite so pig iron is classified on the basis of contents of the free and combined carbon as follows so it can be classified based on the grades and according to the grades we call pig iron as gray pig iron they are gray in color and they contain about three percent of carbon in free form and one percent of carbon in combined form this is a soft type of pig iron and the grades vary from one two and three then we have another one is white pig iron so the white pig iron has a grade four uh, white pig iron is very hard and strong it contain almost all the carbon in combined form so it doesn't have any com carbon in a free form the last one is molted mottled the mottled pig iron is a grade 5 pig iron 
this type of pig iron is in between the gray and white variety it has an average hardness and molded appearance the free and combined forms of carbons are in almost equal proportion in mottled pig iron so let's discuss another type of iron other than the pig iron we have cast iron so cast iron is basically an alloy of iron and carbon and is obtained by remelting pig iron with cork limestone and steel scrap in a furnace known as a cupola the carbon content in cast iron varies from 1.7 percent to 6.67 percent it also contains small amount of silicon, manganese, phosphorus, and sulfur in form of impurity elements. General properties of cast iron. Cast iron is very brittle and weak in tension, and therefore it can be used for making bolts and machine parts, which are liable to tension since the cast iron is a brittle material and therefore it cannot be used in those parts of machines which are subjected to shocks it has low cost good casting characteristics high compressive strength high wear resistance and excellent machinability these properties make it a valuable material for engineering purposes its tensile strength varies from 100 to 200 megapascal. Compressive strength varies from 400 to 1000 megapascal. And shear strength is 120 megapascal. The compressive strength of cast iron is much greater than the tensile strength. The carbon in cast iron is present either of the following two forms. The free carbon or the graphite combined carbon or the cementite the cast iron is classified into seven major kinds as follows we have gray cast iron white cast iron mottled cast iron malleable cast iron nodular cast iron mehanite cast iron alloy cast iron and the chemical composition extractions the properties and general applications of these types of ions are then discussed so students, this marks the end of our today's discussion. Thank you very much for listening and watching. See you next in our next class.